Greetings fellow VR4 fans, this is Cal and I am underneath my Legnum VR4 to talk to you about the AYC diff and the various fluids inside it. I'm doing this because I'm also learning myself and I'm about to replace my AYC diff with a super AYC differential. Let me just get my finger out of the way. What I wanted to talk to you about was the different types of fluids that go inside this bad boy. I know the camera angle is a bit horrible, but this is the AYC differential. Now, the AYC diff has two different kinds of fluids in it. One is a traditional differential oil, which is 75-90 or 80-90 weight, 80 slash 90 weight gear oil, GL5 rated. The other one is here we go. AYC fluid. AYC fluid is SP3 automatic transmission fluid. Uh, the best stuff to use is the Mitsubishi SP3. But there are two kinds of fluids. When you need to do a fluid change, you drain out the two different kinds of fluids from these two drain holes, and I can't tell you exactly which one's which, but I'm guessing that that's AYC because it's close to this AYC marker here. Once you've drained out one of them, you fill it up via its fill hole until the liquid goes to, starts pouring out the hole, and you tighten that bolt back up. I believe it's 0.5 litres for the diff oil, and something like 0.6 litres to 0.7 litres for the AYC fluid. Once you've done that, you have replaced the fluid in your car. So let's talk about bleeding. Note very carefully that the AYC pump fluid is not the same fluid. Okay, let me say that again. It's the same type of fluid, but it is not shared with the fluid in here. The fluid in here is for lubricating the internals of the AYC system. It is not the pressurized fluid which activates the AYC torque vectoring system. That fluid comes in via these two high pressure lines. And if you need to or choose to, let's see if I can focus on those because I can't see them in the background there. The nipples, I'm gonna move my hand to do this. See that? There's two of those. These are the bleed nipples. But as I was saying, the fluid in here, I do excuse the focus because my eyes are bad and I can't even see if the screen's focused. The fluid in here is not shared with the fluid in here. So if you change the fluid in here by draining and refilling, you don't actually need to do a AYC bleed because it's a separate system. In fact, I've been reading, and apparently it turns out that unless you actually swap out your AYC pump or otherwise do any kind of maintenance on the pump, which is behind here, then you never need to bleed the AYC system. Mm, I'm not sure if I would start, take that as official, but it is a separate system. So let's have a look where that reservoir of fluid is. Now my... Uh, Tailgate's going to hit the garage roof here. Let's hope it stays up. Oop, thumb's in the way. There it is. There is the reservoir for the AYC pump. Like I said, same kind of fluid, but not shared by the internals of the AYC diff. And we have a look at how to measure this. And you're supposed to, let's have a look if we can get focus on it. Keep the level between the min and max marks on this dipstick. But if you don't do anything else to the pump, you don't need to bleed it. So I believe the service intervals for, excuse me, the AYC 
clutch pack or speed gears in here is 20,000 kilometers and 50,000 kilometers for the diff oil the actual diff oil so there you go two different kinds of fluid three places you have to worry about in my case because I'm about to replace this bad boy with a super AYC diff from an Evo 8 I will be removing the whole thing it will drain out all the fluid in the high pressure system and I will need to do a full refill and full bleed of the complete AYC system but for most of us it looks like the bleeding procedure will be mostly unnecessary so there you go